What is up you guys? Today we're going to go over how much money do you need to start trading options. Truth is, options are not as scary as a lot of people think and they're really not as hard to understand as most people would assume. However, you can't just start trading options with only a couple hundred dollars. And this brings up a pretty common question that I get asked. How much money do I need to start trading options? And it's honestly not as simple as just answering that question. So in this video, I'm going to go over how much money I think you actually need to start trading options, some different option strategies that you can have as a beginner, and really my overall thought on beginners and options trading. So hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all the options videos that I put out. And let's get started. What is up you guys, Pete DiCarlo here, and today we're gonna go over another options video. Now for those of you who are a beginner to options or a beginner to my channel, welcome. I've put out two videos before this, number one on how to trade options for beginners. The video goes over literally the simplest form of options that I can think of. It's one of my biggest videos, and I will put that down below as well. And the second video, which is gonna be right here, is gonna be a video on pricing options and learning the options chain. I will also link that down below. I highly recommend that you watch both of those videos if you're interested in learning how to trade options. As well, I also do public live streams every single day from four to 5 p.m. over on Twitch. We talk about the stock market, real estate, options trading strategies, and it's a great place to be a part of. So go over to Twitch and make sure to follow. Me. So how much money do you need to start trading options? If I had to put a number on it, I would say a minimum of $2,000. Now, if you don't have $2,000, don't just click off this video because I want to talk to you about some things that you can do in the meantime and also explain in more detail why I think $2,000 is the minimum that you should be starting with. Because it's not really a certain amount of money that you need to start trading with options, it's more about experience. The money is only important because you're going to fail, just like learning any new skill, and you need to have the money there to make sure that you can withstand some losses. What you have to realize is that options require much more discipline than trading shares does. Because if you were to get into a bad situation and you're trading shares, in reality, as long as it's not a triple leveraged ETF, you could just probably hold the stock and nine times out of 10 over a long period of time, you're gonna probably get back to where you bought in at. But with options, it's completely different. With options, we have what is called theta. And I explained that in the beginner's video. But with theta, you can't just hold a position for a long period of time because eventually it will decay and be worthless. So timing and discipline are key when it comes to trading options. And that's where the experience comes from. You are somebody who has been trading for at least one year and you have been profitable. Then I would say to start looking at trading options. If you've been trading in less than one year, no offense, you may lack the actual discipline and the skill set mentally to learn how to trade options because like I said, there's not as much of a buffer. The room for error is so much smaller than it is when it comes to actually trading shares. Biggest problem that options traders have is learning how to cut their loss and knowing when they're fighting a losing battle. That's it. I say it all the time to my academy students, but it's not the wins that's gonna make you a millionaire, it's your losses. It's the losses that are not only gonna teach you the mistakes that you made that you can eventually learn from, but it's also cutting your losses quick and making them small. It's going to keep you in the game for longer, which is gonna make you a better trader, which is gonna make you learn, and eventually is going to make this a career for you. I am here right now, not because I was the best trader when I started, but I learned pretty soon, and for a couple of huge losses, how to keep my losses small, and how to have discipline when trading. Because like I say all the time, you're gonna lose. It's a part of the game. You can't just win every single time. So the actions that you take when you lose is going to be the deciding factor of how successful you are as a trader or even an investor. $2,000. Well, why? The reason that I say $2,000 is because when you're learning any new skill, you're going to lose money and you need to have a minimum amount of money, like $2,000, that you're gonna basically test your patterns, you're gonna test your process of trading options, and basically that money is there for you to learn. You could start with four or $500, but the truth is you're gonna be stuck buying subpar options. If you check out the options chain video that I made, you're gonna see that if you're trading with $400 in your portfolio, you might be stuck buying subpar options that are very far out of the money, or maybe they have very low volume and open interest. And we don't wanna trade those because that can be problematic when we're trying to sell. Think to yourself before you go into this, what is the max amount of money that you're willing to risk learning this new skill. And so like we said, if it's $2,000, you have to look at it as I may lose 10 trades in a row. If I'm gonna take these 10 trades and risk this $2,000, then the most I'm willing to risk is gonna be $200 
per trade because you need to have enough money in your portfolio to withstand the losses. If you are newer to trading or if you've been trading for a while and you want to dip your toes into options, but you're kind of afraid to risk that kind of money, you can actually start paper trading options. Now, I did not like paper trading options or just paper trading in general for the longest time because there is nothing like losing your own money. The problem is that people start paper trading and they trade like nuts. They don't treat it as if it was their own portfolio or their own money and they just take YOLO penny stock plays or crazy options plays. So if you are going to use a paper trading account, I highly recommend using Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. If you have a normal account, you get the paper trading 100% for free. It's great because you get the same access that you do to normal trading in TOS, but with options. And it's one of the best ways to go if you want to learn how to trade options. But remember, treat it as if it's your actual money. Don't just YOLO your trades away just to get a huge percentage gain. In the world of stock market trading, especially options, confidence is key. So if you want to practice paper trading, you can actually build your confidence, collect your data, find out how good you are. And once you get to a point where you have an 80% success rating, then you can start trading with real money. Starting June 1st, my private academy is actually going to have a paper trading tournament where we're all going to start with $10,000. We're going to paper trade and at the end of the month, the winner is going to get free merchandise, a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me or some books, but it's a great community to be a part of. If you're interested, I will put the link below. There's over 55 hours of courses and lectures, a lot of them about options. You also get access to our private discord with over 210 students. We go live every single morning. I go over what I'm trading, why I'm trading, I answer questions, and it's only $30 a month. Starting June 1st, it will be $50 a month for any new members, but if you sign up before June 1st, it will be $30 a month for life. So the link will be down below and come check us out. So in short, how much money do you actually need to start trading options? For me, the minimum amount that I would say is going to be $2,000 because it gives you enough of a buffer to where if you take some losses, you don't just give up and walk away. I would say that if you have never put on an options trade before in your life, that I would actually learn to paper trade with options. If you do want to learn how to trade options, hit subscribe. I put a lot of videos out on this channel. And if you're very, very dedicated to learning this skill, come join Join our academy. And most importantly, remember that this is a skill that's not going to be born overnight. Like anything, to become a master at something, it's not going to take one day or one year. It's going to take multiple years. So remember that when you're learning this. You'll have plenty of successes, but most importantly, failure. So how you bounce back from that is going to be the most important thing. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Follow us on Twitch. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next time.